Hello, this is Garrett with Bullridge Plumbing. We are here at... One second. We are here at 2804 Ames. <clears throat> We're on top of the roof, going through the roof stack and everything. Come back out here to... Uh, because the, the customers are having a uh, backup issue again. I guess we were out here two weeks ago or so. But anyways, yeah, we are at the city tap right here at 97, 98 feet or so. This is a clay line. It's right here, something weird going on. Looks like just the top of the pipe, maybe. There is this offset right here that we did locate. It is quite a mean offset can and will collect a lot of debris over time. There's a little bit of toilet paper in here. We tried flushing that out best we could. And here we start a belly at about 83 feet or so. Not a major belly. Less than an inch easily. You will find little offsets in these clay lines. That's pretty common with these types of uh, lines. There is some toilet paper. Let me knock that out. We'll give it a couple more flushes here in a little bit and we'll get water turned back on. Start of another little belly here, it looks like. Not very major, but they can still, just more toilet paper, still, these bellies can hold debris. We'll just try to get that flush all the way to the main. So here is our transition to cast iron from clay, at about 48 feet or so cast iron looks like there's a lot of scale built up so I would recommend a descale of just the cast iron and about right here I think was where a soft blockage was that I got through with the camera I think it was just a an abundance of a bunch of toilet paper and everything just piling up in the cast. So with, with these scales and the cast iron it can easily collect and uh, toilet paper and stuff like that will catch onto this scale build up all around the pipe. Now we're coming up our roof stack here. Here we have it, a four inch cast iron roof stack on a nice hot day. Thanks for watching.